The campaigner that was threatened with arrest for being openly Jewish has said that over 1,500 supporters will join him at a pro-Palestine march this weekend. Gideon Falter was involved in a scandal whilst passing through a march. If I could ask you to stay there, please. Thank you very much. I know, I heard you. I don't want to stay here. I want to leave. In that case, sir, when the crowd is gone, I will help you escort you out. I don't think that's going to No, sir. I don't want anybody antagonising anything. Yeah, and at the moment, sir, you are quite openly Jewish. This is a pro-Palestinian march. I'm not accusing you of anything, but I'm worried about the reaction to your presence. The aim is to put pressure on Scotland Yard to keep the streets safe for Jewish people. We are still joined by my friend, former Labour MP, Lord Ian Austin. Ian, I understand why Gideon is, is doing this. I understand how he feels. But I also think it's ill-advised to turn up to this protest this weekend with 1,500 protesters. I get the point he's trying to make, but I feel it's just going to add, add a, a flame to this dynamite. I think what last weekend showed, you know, whatever the... whatever happened between Gideon and the police... Look, what it showed is that the police clearly think that it's not safe for people who are visibly Jewish, mm -hmm. recognisably Jewish, and who don't agree with the pro-Palestinian protesters. Yeah. Uh, but it's not safe for them to be there. Um, now, you know, I think it's absolutely outrageous that Jewish people should feel intimidated, mm -hmm. should not be able to walk the streets of London, and should be at risk from, uh, you know, from people who, who are taking part in these protests. And it's... <laughs> Look, I've been, I've been down to see some of these protests. Mm -hmm. You see loads of banners calling for intifada. Yeah. Loads of banners calling for Israel to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. You don't see any banners calling for peace. You don't see any banners calling for Free hostages to, to be released. Yeah. None of that. None of that at all. And I've been on... Um, I mean, oh, <laughs> I was in North London one Saturday. One of these demonstrations came along. They were chanting all sorts of stuff. I called out, free the hostages, perfectly peacefully. I didn't yeah. have a blackboard. I was out shopping, actually. I was with a friend of mine. Yeah. Out shopping. And I, uh, I called out, free the hostages, free Gaza from Hamas. Yeah. The protesters were furious. One of them was swearing at me really aggressively. The policeman pushed me away. Right. Now, I understand that he wants to avoid any sort of public disorder, but it wasn't me that was being threatening. It was people on this protest. And yeah. it wasn't Gideon. It's not Gideon that is threatening anybody. Gideon yeah. Falter. It's, you know, obviously the policeman's worried about the reaction to him. Yeah. From... No, look, I am not saying... I am not saying... Of course I'm not saying that everybody on these protests is a racist mm -hmm. or supports terrorism or would be a threat to Jewish people. I'm not saying that at all. Of course, there are, you know, there are people who mean well on these protests and there are lots of people who pretend not to hear the chance for... Yeah. ..and support terrorism or see the racist placards. You know, they pretend to ignore all of that. Mm -hmm. But, but let's put it this way, right? The organisers say there are 100,000 people on these protests. If there's only... Let's be generous, right? Let's be generous. If only one in ten are racist or support yeah. terrorism, that's still 10,000 people. Yeah. Right. That is still more than twice as many as the fascists who marched with Mosley at Cable Street yeah. in the 30s. They are still the biggest racist demonstrations we've ever seen in Britain. Mm -hmm. And why is it... And when and people dismiss it, they say, oh, Jewish people are at risk, there are Jewish people on the protest. So what they're basically saying is, as long as Jewish people agree with them... Then they're safe. Then they're safe. Mm. But if Jewish people don't agree with them, then they wouldn't be safe. But, they wouldn't be safe. And this is completely unacceptable. But 1,500 people going down there... And, I'm, as, again, I know Gideon. If I, was, if, I was, yeah. if I was here this weekend, then I'd probably be down there with him, marching. You and I went to uh, one of his anti-Semitism mm -hmm. marches to support him and support the, the rest of our Jewish friends. There'll be people on this protest this weekend from the 1,500 that Gideon's taken who, who are not Jewish, and they're just going to be there to support him and support Jewish people. But they will still make up a minority compared to the tens of, of thousands of people on the pro-Palestine no, march. Police have got so the, the police are still going to probably, yeah, by all, by and all the means, problem here, separate them and, and push Gideon and co away. The problem here are not the police. The problem here are the protests. Yeah. Right. You can't have a situation where week after week after week, central London's brought to a standstill, Jewish people are intimidated, huge impact on shops and everybody else going about their normal daily business, police resources diverted. Yeah. I mean, I think the point's been made. 
Of course people have got the right to protest, but not every week. You can't bring London and other major cities to a standstill every single week, diverting police resources from everywhere else. And why is it? Look, I'm a season ticket holder at, uh, at Aston Villa. Mm. A chunk of my... of the price I pay to go to the football is actually used... The club have to pay the police for policing... The, not just the policing inside the stadium, yeah. but the policing around the ground as well. Yeah. Now, why is it that these protests... I think, it, you know, have a few protests? Sure, of course, freedom of speech. Everybody's got the right to do that. But if you're going to do this every week, start charging the, pro- the organisers yeah. for the cost of policing. Yeah. Right. Let's begin... I mean, I think they've made their point. They've mm-hmm. made the point. The point Gideon's making is, this has gone on for long enough... Jewish people ought to be able to walk around London like anybody else. They can't do that at the moment because of these protests. Absolutely. And that's what's going to be dealt with.